what they are arguing for are not traditional democratic positions. Um, and uh, so I think that became really clear with Mayor Bloomberg. I mean, you know, you can spend a, a billion dollars, and I guess he spent, what, 400 so far, whatever it is, but you can't hide your record. I mean, the past is the past, how you voted. And the idea that the Democratic Party would support somebody who did the stop and frisk law and threw, I won't use the phrase again, but threw up against the wall minority men several million times, uh, literally, uh, the idea that he's making the case that he and Barack are really close buddies when he didn't support us, he didn't, and, or that, uh, you know, I mean, what comes out with, with Bernie is, I was just saying to another reporter, I didn't realize that until an Atlantic article, article came out, that I knew he talked about someone should primary Barack for the second term because he didn't like, he thought Barack wasn't, I guess, socialist enough. Or, but I, I think caucuses are somewhat confusing, even in, even in the outcomes. But look, I feel really good about my, the response I'm getting here, whether it's Reno or down here or wherever it is. I, uh, and I've always gotten significant support my whole career and as vice president campaigning for, from African Americans, from like the, the Latino Victory Fund endorsed me uh, last night or yesterday. Um, I've always gotten support there. I've always gotten support from working class people, hourly wage earners and union members. And so I feel good about it, but we'll see how that pans out in a, in a, in a caucus.